Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the push to unsubscribe from Game Nights and whether or not Jimmy Wong of Game Night fame from the Command Zone. Also, I think Jimmy is an actor if he is in the wrong. So Nicole Dublin, who I believe she is a trans individual, has been offended by Jimmy. And of course, that means cancellation is upon us. Now, what did Jimmy say? I'm going to read it to you. Jimmy actually was talking about Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan, uh, again, I don't really watch too much Joe Rogan. Uh, he is a very big name uh, on YouTube, at least. He has a ton of videos and ton of views. But I'm guessing that his views are more conservative and maybe his opinions on trans individuals offend some people. We live in America, and my understanding of being living in America is that we are entitled to have different opinions. But that's not always true in the Magic the Gathering community. So Jimmy Wong is now, he is, I would be very concerned once they, once they start trying to cancel people. They have a history of being very successful. Uh, the last person they canceled was Teresa Nielsen, and we know how that has gone for her. She's been banned from Magic the Gathering entirely, and Persona Non Grata, and she was harassed, attacked, um, a, a lot of really, really, really bad things. So the Command Zone and Jimmy and Game Nights uh, is the next target. And the reason uh, Jimmy is the target is due to his uh, sharing of a Joe Rogan video, which is not altogether that much different from what previously had happened with uh, Teresa Nielsen, where Teresa Nielsen had retweeted or shared um, some information uh, about trans individuals. Uh, Autumn Bercelli, who is the who was the MPL leader. Uh, the winner, and no longer even streams. I mean, imagine paying $100 million for a bunch of people who don't even have Twitch accounts anymore because that's how relevant they are in Magic the Gathering. Now, they are all, obviously, they're going to come after people who support Joe Rogan or who watch Joe Rogan or who um, retweet Joe Rogan, um, and they're trying to cancel them. You know, stop staffing this person, they say, uh, because obviously this, this person is uh, a Joe Rogan light. Uh, this guy is a supporter of Joe Rogan and now needs to be canceled. Cancel culture and Magic the Gathering is one of the reasons that I kind of stay out. I don't play Magic in person anymore because the cancel culture is just, it's too much, guys. Like, um, understand that they want to cancel you for anything and like, I don't know another hobby, so when I do Pokemon, unless you're like a scammer and whatnot, which is very common, it's very hard to be canceled from Pokemon. Uh, there's a lot of, um, even in anime, Fire Emblem, Cyber, none of these games I think has uh, attracted as many people dedicated to canceling as Magic the Gathering. Uh, we covered that with the quarterling and Jeremy Hambly. We covered that with myself. You know, I, I myself have been canceled by uh, a similar audience, if you will. And the, the idea was, you know, the idea is attention, attention, attention. Uh, Nicole is getting a lot of attention by attacking Jimmy that she otherwise would not get. Most of her posts have maybe one or two likes, you know, her recent post. But whenever she accuses Jimmy of being uh, transphobic or whatever she's accusing him of being a fan of Joe Rogan, uh, she will get 5,000 views and, and far more likes than she will get. Remote. And that's the problem with Magic the Gathering. In a nutshell, I would to tell you what my issue with and why I stay far, far away from Magic players today. Uh, is that the cancel culture is still so strong and I don't think it's ever going to stop. And it really is sad. 
I really am sad that this is kind of the society and this is what Magic the Gathering has become. Where if you watch Joe Rogan and you want to sh share a clip of Joe Rogan on your Twitter or X, whatever it's called, um, be prepared to be canceled. Uh, no matter how big, no matter how big of a channel you are, the command zone. And, and this is really the culture that we have kind of created here. Um, it's it's fascinating, but also very bad. If, especially if you own a business. Especially if you. It, it's just how can I explain it? To me, it is very scary that people can do this. Um, that people want to do this. That people are willing to do this. Um, yeah. So anyway, let me know in the comments below if you agree, you disagree, what is your perspective on this, and um, is Jimmy in trouble, or do you think this thing, do you support Jimmy in his stance that watching Joe Rogan does not mean that you're transphobic? Um, and do you support the exaggerations of Nicole, or I mean, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? It's not that I'm afraid of this particular audience. Um, it's just that I engaging with them is just so horrific of an experience. Um, they they are set to destroy you. They want they're they're after your job. You can see poor Isaac is like, hey, I'll donate a hundred, and they're like, no, this guy shouldn't be stabbed. But they don't actually argue. They don't actually like Jimmy's asking, where does he explicit? Where does Joe Rogan explicitly say this? And the answer, of course, is he does not say that. Because if he did, they would have a video clip or a screenshot, just like they have a screenshot of Jimmy and just like they have a video clip of Joe Rogan ready to go. So let's actually look at it. Uh, what a blanking joke. You're on the high horse because your central bullshit allows you to feel good about yourself while actively and passively hurting others. You could use your platform to raise marginalized voices, but you've chosen fastest instead. So, because Jimmy wants to tweet Joe Rogan, he is now a fascist. And that is basically Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. That's why I no longer play physically anymore. I don't even play online anymore. I still collect, but we're talking about an environment where, like, uh, take Jeremy Hambly, a Magic the Gathering game store owner who dresses in... 10 year old princess dresses on his uh, store will literally assault and punch you in the face that's the society they want that's the society magic the gathering is cultivating right making sure that this is uh it's it's it, in my opinion um you either you you cannot back down because if you back down they will cancel you um, some of you might gag upon seeing Rogan or Mara's names, but it might benefit you the most to listen. Now, Jimmy had to retract this. He had to delete it. And apologies, probably coming out soon, uh, written by his PR staff. But, you know, Magic the Gathering community at its finest. This is what is turning players away. I don't want to deal with this. I think a lot of older players with money do not want to deal with this shit. Um, I'm not going to be part of it. 